What's going on guys? Brandon here. We have your Macomb County May 2019 real estate market update. Let's jump right into this thing. So I have to preface every video with a couple things. We have three years of data. That way you can see the pattern, you can see the trends. The trend is your friend, remember that. So if I gave you one year data, it wouldn't make any sense to you. So that way you see three years, exactly what's going on. And we have the month previous. That way you can see the fresh off the press, hot off the press data, um, because we have everything is now in the books. The month is closed, just like the government putting out the jobs report um, at the first week of the first, second week of the new month. That's what we do here. So let's jump right into this. Days on market is the first one. Number average number of days on market two years ago was 38 in Macomb County, 33 last year, and it ticked up a little bit to 35. So still pretty good, just over a month on the market, uh, not bad. Um, active homes in the market. This is a one day snapshot. Remember, so when this data was taken, how many homes were on the market at that second? This is why three years of data is important because you can see the trend more importantly. Um, active homes were 1297 two years ago, 1136 last year, and then a, little, a significant jump up to 1512 this year. So, um, so it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see going forward how that affects the supply and the demand. Uh, MOI, MOI is months of inventory, and then that's that the rate that homes are selling, how long would it take to sell every last home with no new homes coming on the market? Um, we have one across the board, and really even this month is like point zero or 1.06, so it's one across the board, um, so still a very steep seller's market, and I always give everyone a little bit of a, a taste of what that means. Is a quick ratio so you know what kind of market you're in when you hear this number, and or something you just look up very quickly and see. So one to three months is a seller's market. That means there's a, a ton of buyers out there, or there's just very little inventory, so sellers are getting higher prices, and the demand is high. Four to six months is a balanced market. Everyone's basically winning, <laughs> and buyers are four, uh, seven months plus. And that means that there are uh, a lot of homes in the market, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, when we had the crash right after that, there's a lot of homes in the market, and there's not a ton of buyers. So buyers are generally have the leverage and they're getting good prices for homes. New homes in the market. This is more of a, a month long number. It's the number of homes that came on, new listings in that month. So it's a better indicator of what's going on in general. Um, new, so new here in 2017 were 2,203. We had 2,061 last year, and we had 2,188 this year. So a good little jump um, up from last year, but again, still below 2017 a little bit. So again, we, we see a lot of these numbers jumping up to 2017 levels, which is a good thing overall. 2018 was a crazy year. Um, so we're seeing uh, the numbers jump back up to at least 2017, which is nice to see. Uh, price per square foot. Now, this is a general rule of thumb, uh, just so you can see about where your home should be priced at. But if you really want an analysis on your home and they see an actual value, don't go on Zillow, don't you know, use this number. Um, this gives, those give you generalizations of what you are looking at. If you need someone, you need a professional, you need someone on our team, you need a, an appraiser to come look at your property, check it out, see what you've done, and get an actual report in your hands after they've seen it and actually provide you that after they've done their research and due diligence on it. Um, so price per square foot. And, and how you do that, by the way, is you take your square footage and you multiply it by this number. So two years ago, it was $98 a square foot, $104 last year, and then 111 this year. So again, price is going up. They've been going up, still that trend continues. So $111 a square foot. Uh, sold, sold is kind of a buyer statistic. It's how many closings were there. And this number doesn't generally change too, too much because it's the, the buyer pool doesn't usually change a ton unless there's catastrophic events like 9, 10, 11, 12. So again, we've seen a little bit of a decrease here though, just because the supply has been lower. Uh, 1522 two years ago, 1436 last year, and then 1385 this past year. So that is it guys. Um, that's the Macomb County May 2019 real estate market update. We try to get these in quick hitters. That way you get in, get out, get what you need, and, uh, and take care of your business. Uh, appropriately. So that's what this is here for, guys. We appreciate your time, your effort, your energy. If you're looking uh, on YouTube or Facebook, please put your comments, questions, concerns, or if you're listening on the podcast too, go to at Legacy Group MI, at Legacy Group MI. Go there, check them out, put your questions, comments, concerns there. That way we can uh, raise the level of discourse and provide answers in that chat for, for everyone to see. Um, if you're so comfortable. So I appreciate your time, your energy more than anything. It's the most important asset we have. So appreciate it, guys. We'll see you on the next one.